For what purpose does a gentleman from North Carolina seek recognition? Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Th th thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Just over a week ago, I spoke on the House floor in support of a bipartisan debt ceiling framework proposed by the Problem Solvers Caucus. Unfortunately, rather than taking up this framework or one that can actually get signed into law, the majority advanced a partisan framework that will leave working families, seniors, and veterans behind. According to the Joint Economic Committee, this partisan proposal could slash education funding for 143,000 students, cut funding for 44,000 veterans, jeopardize 17,000 fam families living below the poverty level, threaten housing access for 35,000, roll back investments in the Triangle's new innovative technologies that support good paying jobs. And that's just in North Carolina's 13th Congressional District alone. Listen, I support fiscal responsibility, but this proposal is anything but responsible. I implore my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to come to the table in good faith because the stakes are too high. Let's have a reasonable and responsible conversation to avoid defaulting on the, the debt. The gentleman's time has now expired. Thank you. I yield back.